So, welcome to Care Lab, everyone. Um, today we're going to have a really interesting Care Lab where we're going to kind of emulate what it's like to be an elderly patient. And the reason that we're doing this is because everyone knows we have a very growing elderly population, um, and we need to provide them with really high quality care. Um, there will be many care labs where you'll have a chance to kind of um, hone in on your pharmaceutical skills, but this care lab specifically is for learning about how to be empathetic towards our older patients and how to provide really empathetic care. So um, we're going to play the aging game where um, we're going to create scenarios where you might experience what it's like for an elderly patient to manage chronic diseases and kind of deal with their medications. Um, so we're gonna switch you guys up into two different groups. Um, and we'll have the first group at the eyeglass station and the second group at the, um, the glove station. At the eyeglass station, you guys will put on your eyeglasses um, and you will have to pick up a medication vial and try to identify what the address of the pharmacy is and what the um, warning labels on the side of the prescription vial says. And then you'll have patient education leaflet where you'll look at that and you'll try to identify what the purpose of the medication is and some side effects associated with the medication and write that in on your sheet. And now in group two, we'll have the glove station um, where you'll have to try to remove um, medications from a blister pack and see kind of how easy, easy that's done or how difficult that is and then to draw some solution into a syringe from a vet, uh, medication vial. Okay, and then you'll have to um, inject that solution back into the vial. All right, do you guys have any questions? No? All righty, let's get started. I see like, you know, Colossians. Colossians. How in fact that is. Okay, so is there a so you have to read our, the address on our medication file. So, all right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is really impossible. Are you getting it out? <laughs> no. Okay. I barely have the edge. I guess this is really it's like the sensation. Yeah, this is really difficult. I don't know how we would do it. All right, so now we're going to switch groups and we're going to have everyone work on um, the tape station together. So at the tape station, we're going to tape up multiple fingers um, and you'll have to perform some activities while your fingers are taped together. Um, so the first activity you'll have to perform is to open the medication vial while your fingers are taped. After you've done that, you'll have to use a dosing spoon to try to get a certain amount of medication out of the vial and pour that medication back into the vial. And then the second activity, you will have um, medication tablets kind of spilled on the table, and with your fingers taped, you'll have to pick up those tablets, open a pill box, place it in the right um, date, and then close the pill box. Um, and then we'll try to we'll talk about what happened. Okay? Any questions? Nope. All right. Let's get started. You can both do it at the same time. So um, try to pick up some of the pills off the table and put it in the. Um, the first compartment. Okay. <laughs> so, take one. Yeah, I think it's easier to close the one you just did. So you don't like put two. Oh, put two. Yeah. yeah. It's been my strategy. Okay, move on to the next one. Thank you. 
You almost spilled it there. I did. <laughs> All right. So let's try to measure out about five mLs or so and then pour it back in the bottle. I think there's a dosing spoon by you as well. Yes. So um, let's kind of think about what this means in the grand scheme of things. You guys completed three different activities today, um, all to um, represent what it might be like for an elderly patient to either have problems seeing, um, to have problems feeling, or to have problems with maneuvering their hands. Um, what surprised you today, if anything at all? Just like very simple things that you do in life would become increasingly difficult and mm -hmm. would take so much time than it would normally take you. Okay. So that would kind of change your perspective on life. Okay. As to do uh, how easy or difficult it would be. Okay. So what I heard you say is just the very simple things became not so simple anymore. I think. Anyone else have anything to add? Anything that surprised you today? it would be increasingly difficult if you had two of these disease states combined mm. trying to have arthritis and like tunnel vision at the same time that's i mean i couldn't imagine mm -hmm. anything else i heard some um some of you refer to kind of like a support system is there anything that surprised you in regards to maybe the need or maybe you don't need a support system when you have any of these ailments I think there's definitely a need for a support system, especially depending on how um, bad the disease is, because in the beginning stages it might not be as bad, but as it progresses, it could get worse, and you want to make sure that you take your medication. Mm -hmm. So definitely having someone there to help you set your pill box up or to you know help um, simply measure out doses would be really important. Okay. Um, how do you guys think that this affects the way that you approach elderly patients? What is your... Um, how did this affect your attitudes and even how you express empathy to older patients? I think uh, in that sense, uh, you would have to uh, be really careful in evaluating your uh, geriatric patients uh, in their uh, personalized need. Okay. Uh, so like uh, if you can uh, have some way to instead of giving them a uh, a no, a 30 pills per month and you can just give them a pill box with medication already filled that okay. would make a really huge difference with, to their life okay something that tiny might make a big difference how how do you think this affected your attitude and empathy towards older patients well i guess if a patient um, if an elderly patient does come to the pharmacy and brings these concerns up i mean i would have a, a greater understanding of the situation um, and some of the experiences that they do have um, and kind of help work with them to alleviate some of those problems for them. Mm -hmm. So, Anything else to add to that, how this might affect your interaction? I think just being cognizant of um, how they feel and how frustrating it may be, and like Hannah said, to come up with ways to help them. So if, for example, with the child-resistant um, caps, if they, you know, making sure that you're proactive, asking them if they need the child resistant cap, if they have any grandchildren or something like that in the home where they would need that, and if not, switching them to like a non safety cap might help it a little bit and make it a little bit easier. Okay, okay, that's a great idea. Any other suggestions as to what you might do differently in the future now that you've kind of gone through what they might feel like? So, the safety cap idea is a great idea. Anything else that you would do differently after this activity? Possibly those blister cap, the blisters, mm -hmm. the blister packs. Maybe, uh, you know, obviously discussing it first with the patient if they want us to actually punch it out if it's not in a certain order. Mm -hmm. um, and just putting it in a vial for them. Okay. Might make it easier. Okay. Maybe if you're doing, um, like thinking about the vision problems, maybe if you could present patient education on material that's easier to read um, okay. for whatever kind of problems they might have. Okay. How about the visual impairment? Maybe uh, counseling them in pharmacy and letting them know uh, the side effects and uh, what to expect and all those things. Even if, even if they might not know and if, it, if it's not a convenient time for them, we can just call them later and then counsel them on the medication. That would be a good idea. Okay. Okay. Any other final thoughts? Well, thanks for um, participating in Care Lab today. I really hope that you guys have kind of taken away the importance of being empathetic towards patients to understand what they're going through so that we could just provide, you know, very high quality care for them. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you next week.